hey guys welcome to my channel i am on the road i'm off to a launch aikido's international launch they are launching um, a new range for mum babies and tots so that should be exciting so i'm on my way there now so if you're new welcome thank you so much for popping by my name is masi and i'm so glad to have you here please do subscribe so you are part of my growing beautiful family i will really 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 love that so let me just drive and i'll see you guys when i come back you know it's, it's a weekday so i'm gonna come back and work anyway so i'll catch you guys later the way i haven't like driven in a long time i get so excited when i have to play dress up and actually you know go out of the house so this this is me having fun <laughs> so anything to take me out of the house will do all right so i'm enjoying this drive now so i'm walking in now and my mask just did the things on me guys it literally <laughs> can you see but it's still covering so i don't care really so let's just do this and go home and work and they're launching a brand new range for moms and babies it is so beautiful you guys are gonna see it it's lovely there's like pretty you know gowns for moms and just like with a message even so they're all unique in a beautiful way I totally I'm so obsessed so they also have these just look here and each item has like a beautiful message you know of, of blessing for a baby guys it's absolutely so amazing so so excited to be here gonna be doing a lot of shopping we also got some vouchers so that's gonna be fun <laughs> I'm gonna take this right now. Of course, it's so beautiful. Let's check the front. Oh, it's not bad. Beautiful, I love it. You know, you start wearing it, maybe when you're still pregnant, so yeah. the front is a little bit high. 
it has uh, some pockets and you can put those last bits in. Yes. And the pockets in the side. <laughs> yeah. So I'm quickly going to slip one on that you, that you see it on. Okay. And then it's a wrap so that you can absolutely wear it when you come back from hospital. Yes. Now you've lost a little bit of your tummy, but not enough yet. So so that the high cut makes it easy, very easy for breast yes. So you just pull it off on the way to hospital and in the hospital and on the way back. Uh, you know, and at home for, for weeks afterwards. This is what she was wearing. Really? Because it was so comfortable. And, and also, and that's all you are in, you know, after coming back from hospital is, even. And it looks, and it looks it feels yeah. good. So you can see it is, so you tie it slightly yes. so that, that, that tummy. And it's long enough that you can tie it around. Oh, you wrap it around. And the wrap can go as deep as you wish. So, you know, yeah, it, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. it can actually grow. And then these ones we've made it is more kimono style. And this this of course there's a wrap as well. And the bow for the baby and the little baby grow. So you know, for those <laughs> and for the and for the first photos in hospital, yes. that's actually what yeah. they enjoy doing now recently. And then we, we really hope that when um, I would love you to take the the little message on the yes. inside. So the idea is that when the mommy you put it on, mm. you know when they I see that blessing. These kimono style ones, my designers tell me that that is something that they would even wear out. So you know what it could be. You could, eh? You could. Totally. With some jeans or no, shorts, no. definitely. <laughs> No, you could. You really could. Not only just as a girl, but yeah, and you can see the yes. And we also, you will see the length of it. It's not long, long, long because when you're pregnant and you have a tummy out of it, and something is long. So guys, I'm not sure if my lighting is perfect here, but I wanted to show you how um, this this range, this mom and me range, is going to be perfect for those first pictures. You know how moms know when they have just given birth in hospital and they want to like take those first pictures, those first beautiful pictures. So this is going to be amazing because look at this. Um, okay, I'm just gonna. This is in front of me now. So you can have your barber in this, right? And then in that gown as well the gown Lydia is wearing and then you can take beautiful pictures or like it's it's different there's different ones as well look at this with a matching gown as well I think that's absolutely cute beautiful absolutely amazing I love 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 it oh I want to have another baby <laughs> So I've just returned home from the launch. It was so amazing, you guys. So beautiful. They make me want to have a baby. Literally, um, most of that stuff, I just see myself, you know, with my newborn, the day they were born, the day they were born, and they're wearing like those nice uh, baby grows, and also I'm wearing um, that nice gown. It's just so beautiful. Oh, gosh. Should mommy get one? Hey? And the sizes for the baby grows, um, obviously with the matching mommy gowns, they are zero to three months for now. They do say that, this is crazy, they do say that they are planning to, you know, grow the sizes, obviously based on the performance. So I'm so excited, really guys, it was really amazing. Hey?
Happy mommy's back? Hey, eh? tell them. You happy mommy's back? <laughs> Let me just look at what they gave us here. So this is our gift bag. What do we have, Loni? We've got some mm -hmm. common uh, teas for Kosi. And okay, this is my voucher, I think. Okay, we'll see. But I, I think I also have a nice voucher here. So we also have these. These are very nice. These are scented uh, sachets that you can put in the drawer. I always buy, you know, similar things from at home. So I'm excited to have those here. Ooh, two of them. Nice. And, and my gift card. So I did buy a few things, but I'm going to go back to spend on this. <laughs> I'm so excited. But yes, guys, the launch was beautiful and accessible. I love this stuff and I cannot wait to actually just shop more for Jose and I. Not just on the new, you know, range that they just launched, but you know, the whole keto. Love it. So, hey guys, it is now 20 past four and listen, I'm going to shoot um, just a few things, some content because um, I don't want to get rid of this face. I I'm not going to let this face go to waste, all right? So yeah, no, I can't let this, because no. So let us do that. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? So I'm just trying to do some editing quickly. Um, yeah, it's just relaxing in bed, it's a little chilly. But anyway, I wanted to just update you guys on the nanny drama, okay? So, let me just put this down quickly. So, anyway, you guys. So, what happened... So, what happened is that... Um, woo, my life. So... Um, you guys remember I did tell you that we actually ended up um, calling back a nanny that actually stole from us and this was my husband's idea it was not mine I was not even happy about it to be honest but I think because he he had a point to say you know what this person was good with our child um, and the only problem that we had with her was you know the sticky fingers so how about we do want to three in order to to deal with that one problem that you know we had um, and yeah that's what we did so now that nanny that one she left all right she left because guys she stole and we caught her red-headed and we caught her red-handed stealing right and it was not even on the, on the footage, no. I caught her, I saw her with my eyes, you know, with... <laughs> I'm done, I'm done with nanny life. Like, oh my gosh, like it's, it just never ends, you know, the drama never ends and it's so painful because, you know, as parents, we need nannies. Well, I know I need a nanny. I cannot go without, you know what I mean? If I don't have a nanny, how am I going to work? How's my husband going to work? I cannot not have help, guys. I need to cook, I need to study. I just need to, you know, fetch my life. And the only time I can, you know, do all of those things that bring me joy, things that are important for my growth, you know, as an individual, as a person, is if I have a help, you know? So, yeah, no, she left um, because I caught her very angry. So how this happened is, short story, so it's a Friday and she's about to go home, right? It was her weekend away, her off weekend. So because my, my, my son is now growing up, you know what I mean? When anyone who stays in our house leaves, um, he kind of, well, what do they call it? They call it um, separation anxiety, I think. So he, he does cry, you know, a bit. So because of that, because of that reason, each time when she's preparing to go home, what I will do is I'll just waste time in her bedroom, you know, um, while she's trying to pack and stuff, I'll just play around with horsey. 
so that um, I show him that you know this person is preparing to leave. You know what I mean? And then what we do is we go down the stairs together, outside of the house together, so I can make my son say "nala." You know, I just noticed that um, when we do that, um, he doesn't cry, so he will say "nala." You know, we don't have to hide away from him, so he doesn't like that. Anyway, so that was the plan. So she's busy, you know, trying to sort her stuff in her bag, whatever. She dropped something on the floor, and. She drops this thing on the floor and she goes down to obviously pick it up to collect it. And as she goes down, I see a red object on her on her waist, you guys. This is creepy. I see a red object on her like in between the jeans and the top. Because because of what we did, you know, so now it picked up. I, I saw it. So I'm like to myself in the moment, I'm like to myself, um, okay, what is that? It just looked weird. It just looked misplaced a bit. It honestly didn't look like it's something that belonged the way it was. You know what I mean? So, in my heart, I'm like, okay, what is that? And what is it doing there? But I just, you know, think to myself again to say, you know what? Just give her a moment. Yeah? Let her tell you when she's ready to go home. Like when she's ready and like ready, ready to go. If she says that she's ready to go and that thing is still there, then you must ask about it. Go. Then I give her a chance. Then I just let her, you know, do her thing and she tells me, Sissy, I'm ready to go. Hmm. Oh, you ready? Are you done? And she's like, yeah, I'm done. And then it was about, uh, get, what is this, you know, behind you? What is this, you know? Um, on your waist, just behind your, your back, what is it? And then she's like, Oh, she looks everywhere. She's like, and then <laughs> I loved it. Well, I didn't laugh out loud, I was very angry in that moment, I didn't care. So I'm like, What is that? And then she, she doesn't know, she doesn't know what I'm talking about. So I'm like, um, Do you want me to help you? Do you want me to help you get it? And then only then she's like, Oh, she's like, Oh, this, these are my shades. So it was sunglasses, it was red sunglasses. Um, like, oh, these, no, um, you know, these are mine. So I'm like, can I, can I please see them? Then I take them from her. And Mangiti, so they still have a tag. They have a hanging tag on them, right? And then she says, um, no, these are mine. So Vimbuze, where did you get them from? Ati, um, no, I got them from Mr. Price. Liar, liar, pants on fire, guys. Yo, <laughs> I'm like, no, these are not from Mr. Price, these are not written Mr. Price. And I knew, guys, because those sunglasses I got them many years ago, and I don't even wear them. You know what I mean? They were sitting in some cabinet downstairs. I, I, I don't wear them, and that's my issue. People who, who steal and people who lie, had she asked me for those shades, just say, Hi, Sissy. You know, I've been seeing these sunglasses. Do you use them? No. Can I please have them? Sure. If I do want to give her, I will give her. But if I have my reasons not to give her, I won't. I just, you must ask. Ask, ask, ask. Anyway, she lies and lies. She goes on and lies. No, they're from surprise. I say they're not yours. And she went on and on until I just looked at her Yo, with the most evil eyes. I just gave her a look. I was like, why are you lying? Why are you lying? Does this tag read really Mr. Price? Why are you lying? And then only then she started, you know, Rabani Clone, the Echoes Lame. And then she, yeah, she was just shaking and scared. And she was like, oh, I'm so sorry, Nasty. I'm so sorry. Yeah, she started, yeah. I was so mad. I was so, like, I was so angry. I was, yo, guys, I was, I can't even describe it. I was furious. You know how. This person has already messed up, right? A lot of time, right? Because when she left the first time, yes, we didn't see her, you know, we, we can't say we saw her, you know, um, with the stolen goods or whatever. No, we did, we've never seen her, but we were convinced that she's the one who stole because things were getting lost and we didn't know where they were. And she was the only suspect, to be honest, because 
she was the only person who was going in and out of the house. We were staying here, and before before we had her, we never had any problems, you know, with things getting lost. So we were convinced, right? And we let her go. And even my thing is, even after, you know, we 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 took you in, after we forgave you for things that you didn't even confess, for things that you didn't even apologize for, you know, we we took you in and we invited you back into our home and we we gave you our food we gave you love we we clothed you and we made you warm and this is the and this is how you repay us so i was so mad guys i was so 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 mad and i'm not even you i was so mad i wanted to slap him i was so mad i was pink i was mad so I asked her, why, why do you have a problem? Why are you stealing? So in Dicho window, but this is not the first time you are stealing something from my house. She's like, no, no, this is the first time. I'm like, why are you lying? Why are you lying? She just kept lying. And I was thinking to myself, this girl, she has problems. And I could see then she started just, you know, doing things with her fingers. And I'm like, you have a problem. You are evil. You are evil and you need, oh my goodness, you need help. I told her you need help and you can never be in my house. I don't want you in my house because you are dangerous, right? Because my mom has always told me someone who steals is a liar and someone who lies can kill, can kill a person because they're just lying. You know what I mean? So, you know, I was very angry, guys. I was so upset, so angry. I wanted to cry even, but I didn't want, you know, my moment of weakness to be right there, you know, in, in front of her. She, she just made me. Oh, she made me so mad, that girl. Anyway, so I just kept interrogating her. I'm like, why are you doing this? Why do you not ask me something? I've never worn this shirt. Have you seen me wear these things? I'm like, no, I'm like, why do you not ask me? Why do you not come up to me to say, Masi, I see these shades. I saw these shades when I was clean. Do you still wear them? No, I don't. Can I please have them? Sure, you can. It's so easy. Why? Why do you not ask? I was scared of you. I'm like, scared. You're scared of me enough to steal from me. It just doesn't make sense. But anyway, yeah, I'm fuming now as I'm telling the story. But yeah, she she left. And it's so funny when I told my husband um, about it, he was so chilled. I think he had already given it over because he was the one who said, "Let's give her another chance." Da -da 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 -da. So and I think this girl was so sneaky and so smart. We've never caught anything on the footage. So I think she had a way to. You know to I don't know to do it um, but anyway guys yeah she's gone and she has a problem I think she has a problem it's not money related it's not yeah it's, she has a problem what do they call it there's a term for it I'll think about it I forgot now but yeah she has that problem and she left she left I yo I don't want anything to do with her she makes me so mad so 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 mad i mean it's just that i'm just that person who will never know anything um is missing until i really want it or you know look for it because i'm convinced i'm sure she even took my baby's clothes that's how mad she is but anyway psycho's gone and we have a new nanny so so far so good and i'm praying that it stays that way um, because that's another thing I can't go with it you know with a negative mind so I'm hoping and praying that things go well and so far so so good um, yeah so yeah guys that's our story and it just it never ends to be honest I cannot wait for my baby to grow old you know old enough for us not to really need these people you know what I mean because ish, guys it's a lot but also I'm still young and I'm still going to have a family. I'm still going to grow my family, so <laughs> I'm still gonna need a nanny. So that's just my life. But anyway, that is it. I just thought I should just let you guys know because obviously I did come here <laughs> to talk about our story before. So yeah, am I the only one who's getting all of these weird ones? Comment down below. Just tell me, like, do you have a green nanny? How long have you guys had her for? And yeah, how are things in your home? This is crazy, man. 
but anyway i'm just gonna finish editing this video now not this one another video that i did and yeah i'm gonna call it a day i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i had a great week for my clinic and keto um, launch i'm yet to spend my voucher which i'm so excited for because i'm yet to show for some winter clothing for my son um, it's starting to be chilly now so i need to get that sorted but yes guys thank you so much for watching um take care and i'll see you guys on my next one bye <laughs>